Hello students, welcome to our channel KSS Gurukul. Today we will discuss the chapter of biology that is components of food. Now we will discuss the whole chapter under the four headings namely what do different food items contain, what do various nutrients do for our body, balanced diet, deficiency diseases. First, let us discuss about what do different food items contain. As we know, each dish is usually made up of one or more ingredients, which we get from plants or animals. Ingredients contain some components that are needed by our body. These components are called nutrients. The major nutrients in our food are named carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Food contains dietary fibers and water which are also needed by our body. Next come to the heading what do various nutrients do for our body. Let us know about the function of different nutrients in our body. Function of Carbohydrate The chief function of carbohydrate in our body is to supply energy or calorie. Function of Fats The fat also have the same function that is supplying energy to our body. In fact, between carbohydrate and the fat, the same amounts of fat produce more energy in comparison to the carbohydrate. 1 gram of carbohydrate provides 4.3 kilocalorie of energy while 1 gram of fat provides 9 kilocalorie of energy. That is why carbohydrate and the fat are called as energy giving foods. Function of protein. Protein helps us for our growth and repair of the body. Thus, Proteins are also known as body building foods. Functions of vitamins. Vitamins help in protecting our body against diseases. Vitamins also help in keeping our eyes, bones, teeth and gums healthy. Some of these are vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E and K. There is also a group of vitamins called vitamin B complex. Functions of minerals. Minerals are essential for proper growth of body and to maintain our good health. For example, calcium, iron, potassium, iodine, etc. Dietary fibers or roughage. They are the insoluble part of the carbohydrate and chiefly consist of cellulose. Its main sources are plant products in our food like whole grains, pulses, potatoes, fresh fruits and vegetables. Functions of roughage. It promotes regular bowel movement by adding to its bulk. It helps in regulation of blood glucose consumption rate. It helps to remove extra cholesterol from our body. Most food items usually contain more than one nutrient. However, among them, one nutrient may be found in much higher quantity than the other ones. For example, rice contains much more carbohydrate than any other nutrient. Thus, rice is a carbohydrate rich source of food. Likewise, dal is a protein rich source of food. Functions of water. It helps in absorption of nutrients from our food. It also helps to throw out some waste products from our body like urine and sweat. Sources of water in our body. From our drink like water, milk, juice, cold drinks, coffee and tea. Adding water in our cooked foods. The water contained in vegetables and fruits we use as food. Now let's discuss about balanced diet. 
A balanced diet is something that contains different kinds of food in certain quantities and proportions so that the requirement of for calories, proteins, minerals, vitamins and alternative nutrients is adequate. Pulses, groundnut, soybean, sprouted seed, fermented foods, a combination of flowers, banana, spinach, sattu, jaggery, available vegetables and other such foods provide many nutrients. Therefore, one can eat a balanced diet without expensive food materials. Eating the right kind is not enough. It should also be cooked properly. But some nutrients get lost in the process of cooking and preparations. Let's know how to prevent the loss of nutrients. Don't wash the vegetables and fruits after cutting or peeling. The skins of many vegetables and fruits contain vitamins and minerals. Don't peel them. Don't wash ties and pulses repeatedly. Don't use excess water during cooking. Because after that, you have to throw the excess water. Vitamin C gets easily destroyed by heat. So, if it is not necessary, then consume them in raw form. Excess eating is also harmful for us. We may end up suffering from a condition called obesity. Next, come to the heading Deficiency Diseases. Sometimes the food may not contain a particular nutrient. If this continues over a long period of time, the person may suffer from its deficiency. Deficiency of one or more nutrients can cause diseases or disorders in our body. Diseases that occur due to the lack of nutrients over a long period of time are called deficiency diseases. When a person does not get enough proteins in his or her food for a long time, he or she is likely to have stunt growth, swelling of face, discoloration of hair, skin diseases and diarrhea. When the diet is deficient, deficient in both carbohydrates and proteins for a long period of time, the growth may stop completely. Such a person becomes very lean and thin and so weak that he or she may not even be able to move. Deficiency of different vitamins and minerals may also result in certain diseases or disorders. Here are some diseases or disorders caused by deficiency of vitamins and minerals. In deficiency of vitamin A, we may suffer from loss of vision. In deficiency of vitamin B1, we may suffer from beriberi. In deficiency of vitamin C, we may suffer from scurvy. In deficiency of vitamin D, we may suffer from rickets. In deficiency of calcium, our bone and tooth start decay. In deficiency of iodine, we may suffer from goiter. In deficiency of iron, we may suffer from anemia. This was all about this chapter. Feel free to subscribe, like, share and comment your valuable views. Thanks for watching.